Hey, how's it going guys? My name is Mr. Sonic Manu and welcome to Nightlight. So I saw this on itch.io and it looked really cool. It kind of reminded me a lot of uh, Franbo. And I like horror games that mix, you know, hand-drawn elements from like you would see in a storybook in horror games. So I figured, you know, this one will be pretty cool. It's free, so I don't have to pay for it. So I figured this would be pretty cool, and from the trailers and from the pictures I saw, you play as a teddy bear. I'm not sure how much of that is true, but we'll see. So, from over here it says W and S for up and down. So we are just going to start the game. I guess enter to start. Oh, we do play as the teddy bear. The child is asleep. You need to hold to hide. Why would we need to hide? Press space to climb onto. Okay. Why would we need to hide? Okay, this kind of freaks me out. Whole, like, there's no light or anything in this environment. Eat a hide again. What do we need to hide from? I don't get it. Next room. Okay, E for next room. It is incredibly quiet in here. I don't like it. Teddy? What's going on? You guys hear that? Can we move? Okay, so there's a reason why we need to hide. Yeah, I think I found the reason why we need to hide. Um... Oh shoot, it's coming back! No! No, 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 no! You died alone in the dark. Retry. Yes or no? I'm going to retry that crap. Okay, so... We can still go. Oh no, we can't keep on going. It's still here. We can't even move the light around. That's the scary part about it. Like I said in SCP Containment Breach, it's a fear of the unknown that just gets you. Okay, so we gotta wait for the sound to go completely away. Come on, come on, come on! Ah! Okay. Oh, you are no human being. You are no human being. That is some scary crap. Okay. Okay. Sounds getting faint. So we're supposed to go back and forth between rooms. Oh shoot. Oh shoot. Come on, come on, come on. You can make it, guy. Come on, Teddy. Move them stubby legs. Ah, I found me. I can make it, right? I can make it. I can make it. It can't catch me. Oh, it's getting closer. It's getting closer. Mm. Again! Why did I get out? Why did I do that? Ah, hi! Or not, okay. Um, this is starting to frustrate me. I had no idea this game would be this difficult. I gotta figure out what to do. He maybe is going to. Oh, once we leave the room, we can't go back. Oh boy. This is fun. Oh, I'm hiding again. So, for what I saw last time I died, or from before, he looks like some kind of clown looking thing. Okay, I can go, right? I can go? Okay, let me try to make it as far as I can without getting caught. And I feel like I made a huge mistake just now. Okay, he seems like he's way behind us. I feel like we're gonna make it. It should be okay. Next room. Still hear it. Is it a different monster or the same one? I heard this game is pretty short too. So if it's too short for this playthrough, I'll just... I'll just play a different game as well. I'll do like a double feature, double horror feature. So, this is pretty interesting because not only do you have to use depend on your sight? <laughs> okay, so like I was saying, 
you don't only, this game forces you to rely on your hearing, and not only on your sight, to try to get past the monster. Because you can't see anything, as you can see. Like, you can barely see anything. And I think that's what's scary about it. Because we rely on our eyes to, like, see what's in front of us, and we also use our eyes to, you know, stay alert, to be aware of what's around us, and to stay away from the things that we know that'll hurt us. But since we can't see a thing, we have to rely on something we're not used to relying on, our sense of hearing. Okay, this is more difficult. Run, boy, run! Run, teddy bear. I could climb, and I could hide behind this, right? Oh, no. I'm gonna beat this game. I don't care what you say. No one to see here. I'm a good little teddy bear. You can't find me. Oh, shoot. He's right behind me, isn't he? Uh, um, hide. Oh, that's a close one. Oh, you are a creepy boy. You are a creepy boy, aren't you? You creepy little piece of crap. So I'm going to wait over here for a little bit. I probably just cut to when he passes by again. Just look at that face! Okay, he seems far, far away enough. Far away enough, right? Far away enough? We're going to go. And I think this is a demo, too, I think. Next room. Oh, you could barely see anything. Oh, no. And he's faster, too. Are there multiple? Oh, there are multiple things here. Oh, I could barely see anything. Oh, they're getting closer. Oh, I don't like this. It's like a childhood fear. There are too many. Here, run. Oh, no. Oh. <sighs> now tell me why that happened. Why are you so creepy? Oh, they doubled back. That's what happened, right? Okay. Let me close it. There we go. So I can't be greedy this time around. I gotta be patient. I gotta do what my mom always told me. Be patient, Jose. That's what I'm gonna do. Okay. So they come back as well. They double back. Oh, no, 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 no. What the heck, man? Are you count how many? One? Two? There are two guys, right? I can go now. Am I correct? This wasn't really well thought out. It's not like I can move around the flashlight, too. Or can I? I can't. I just gotta rely on that one single point. Please pass by and never come back. He's gonna double back. One's gonna double back. Okay. Okay, okay. Hide. I can barely see anything now. You're lying in your hearing, Jose. You got this. Okay. Okay. I can do this. Oh, hide. It's so dark, I can see the reflection of myself on the monitor. It's kind of weird. It's so creepy. Okay. Next room. Oh, thank the Lord we got light. I don't hear anything. I don't hear the monster. 
But I'm just gonna spray. Oh, hello, little Sarah. Press E to what? You stole the nightlight and saved Toby. But who's the real monster? Oh, light. When there's a nightlight, there the monsters aren't around. So you stole the nightlight from the little brother or the little sister to save the, your owner. But upon taking that nightlight, you ended up endangering the little girl or little brother or little sister. This is kind of interesting, but yeah, this was nightlight. This kind of went on for a little bit in the editing process. If, I f if it's too short, I'll play another game as well to make it a double feature. If not, you only get this one. This is the only one you'll be seeing. But yeah, this was a fun, fun little game. It kind of got frustrating a little bit. I Maybe mean, it's because I was getting scared a lot. But yeah, um, this was pretty good. I liked it a lot. I kind of wish there was more. I wish it wasn't so short. It was very, it was under 20 minutes, which is weird because usually the horror games, the short horror games I play are like probably a little over 20 minutes. It's kind of like Bending the Ink Machine. That was over 20 minutes because of how I played it. But yeah, that was pretty, pretty interesting. If you want to play it for yourself to get spooked, I'll leave the link to that game or to where I got it in the description down below. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. If you liked it, make sure you hit that like button and let me know in the comments down below what horror games you want me to play next or if you would want to play this game as well. And also, what is your answer to this question? Who is the real monster? You, the teddy bear, or the monsters lurking in the dark? If you want to see more from me, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. And if you have already, make sure you hit that bell icon down below to get notified when I upload new videos. But anyway, this is Mr. Sonic Menu signing off. I'll see you guys in the next one.